All right, so our first case of traumatic nerve injury is a 34-year-old man. He had hand pain after punching a wall and some ulnar nerve distribution numbness in his kind of ulnar sided digits. So we're going to start with radiographic evaluation as we often do in trauma. You'll note right away that there's a fracture kind of right at the base of that ring finger metacarpal. There's some shortening of that digit. And we can see some additional osseous fragments that are at the level of the distal carpal row. So we're suspicious that in addition to the metacarpal base fracture, that he may also have some hamate or carpal involvement. They got an MRI to evaluate the continuity of his ulnar nerve to ensure that there was not a traumatic transection in this case. So I'm going to start with our fluid sensitive sequences. As we might expect, there's lots of edema in this region. Now you can nicely see that hamate fracture that we appreciated on the lateral hand radiograph. Lots of muscle edema, lots of hemorrhage in this case. So we're, we're really trying to evaluate that ulnar nerve. So following our ulnar nerve from the level of the distal forearm, again, adjacent to our vasculature, we're going to track that through Guyon's canal in this particular instance, make sure that nerve is seen in continuity. And we're going to get to the region of the canal right here. You can see there's lots of heterogeneity and some increased signal within Guyon's canal. The nerve itself is actually this structure that's pretty enlarged. You can see that superficial branch stays pretty enlarged. And we know our deep branch is gonna course superficial and adjacent to the uh, ulnar aspect of that hook of the hamate. And we mostly see lots of edema, but we do see some corresponding nerve enlargement in this case. And this patient ultimately went on to surgical decompression of this region. This was all found to be blood products, but this is just a great case that goes to show that adjacent trauma in the setting of clinical symptomatology of nerve abnormality, uh, you can have nerve compression or nerve injury from the adjacent injury and lots of just blood products and reactive edema formation. So we're able to see the nerve in continuity in this case. So we're not worried about a nerve transection from a fracture fragment, but more external compression from hematoma in this instance. And this patient pretty much had complete recovery, regained the functionality of that nerve after the decompression of Guyon's canal.